Alrighty. She's Louise. Where's my chat? Okay, let me check my mic. Should be on my phone. Mic test, mic test. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I just do not see uh, my chat. You have received the letter. Did I undock it? Docs starts on the remote chat. Come on, stick. Uh, docs stats. She don't need the stats. Okay, 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 okay. Well, it looks like everything is working. Sorry, I am late. Show's gonna be punctual, but your boy kind of messed up. Um, well, you can totally see how I'm recording. <laughs> uh, your boy totally messed up how to uh, set up this camera. Because you can stream your iPhone camera onto onto um your laptop so actually really good because this is a 4k camera it looks great latency is super low damn that looks good i should do all my filming like this well let's just talk about this real fast this is the og steam deck um with the mark 8 back plate um and it's pretty freaking i would Pretty freaking cool. I love this thing. Just did some testing. So we need to get a game out right now because we need to make sure we have something to download. Fuck, I don't know my Steam ID. Make sure this thing is on so that we can uh, go ahead and where's my other leg for it okay one leg's fine okay all right that's all the important information block all right here we go steam deck oled Okay, this thing's working. Cool, no issues there. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing. I'm pretty excited to um, do this thing. Oh, there's my crotch. Let's not do that. And there we go. <laughs> All right, so let's open this thing up. I need a knife. And here we are. All right, so this thing actually shipped pretty quick. And this is the regular version one because your boy didn't understand that there was a limited edition one. And maybe, maybe we'll return it and get the limited edition one. But this tape doesn't look factory. But whatever, we'll see how it goes. All right. Let me turn off our original Steam Deck. Okay, dokie, artichoke. All right, okay, so here we go. Steam Deck OLED. Let's take everything out. And we'll take a look at it all. Let's open this bottom one first. All right, so here's the power cable. Pretty much the same as the stock one. Um... Not the original one. Let's take a look at that real fast. Same adapter. Pretty much the same. Um, five volts, three amps. Nine volts, three amps. Fifteen volts, twenty volts, three amps. 
you know what? 20 volts is le uh, exact same. Uh, I don't know if they're the same manufacturer. But the only thing I can see clearly different is there's the lack of logos on the original one. And um, um, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep both or not. Um, definitely going to keep the OLED. Um, I might keep the, the, uh, the LCD one. Um, or LED, is it LED, LCD, um, LED, um, one just so, you know, just to keep it, um, for testing purposes, uh, and then probably get rid of it after that. Maybe I'll just give it to my little brother or something. Have him like, owe me a bunch of car washes. How about like 20 car washes? Okay. How about 15 car washes, 10 details or something like that? I don't know. I like to do that kind of stuff and just trade. Um, but the cable pretty much the same for the most part, pretty much the same, just logos. All right, let's get into the meat and potatoes. So this is the one terabyte version. It should be the one terabyte version because I, I didn't see the point of not buying the terabyte version because of the edge screen, uh, mainly. Um, I'm uploading this video later tonight about LEDs versus OLEDs, and you'll see the difference between the glossiness, I mean, the, the reflectiveness of an OLED. It's freaking intense. OLEDs are very reflective. Um, and was there anything in here that... Oh, you could just peel that off. Well, we didn't do that. Cool. So... Um, where are my nippers? Let's go ahead and let's cut this bad boy off. Cool. Who was, when did I get the Steam Deck? I think I've had the Steam Deck for like a year and a half now. I got, I ordered it on the third, probably, uh, the third shipment. I got the third shipment or something like that. This case, I've never used this case, by the way. Maybe I should just give away um, uh, my old case. Okay, here we are. Um, pretty much, look and feel is pretty much the same. I don't think we got a terry cloth in the last one. And the only thing different about this case and the last one is that this thing comes apart somehow. Yeah, it's Velcro. So you don't need the big case. You can pull this thing out and then you got a secondary case. Which um, I probably will never ever use uh, because um, my backplate is modded. Why is this not turning off? All right, cool. So let's just feel. Feels about the same. It feels lighter. But then I got a bunch of crap in mine, but it clearly feels a lot lighter. Triggers. Um, triggers feel about the same. All right, let's power this thing on. I do not know my Steam password. I have no idea what my Steam password is. No idea. Oh yeah, it is lighter, huh? You're right. I remember um, watching um, Dave2D and he said it was lighter. Yeah, that looks great. The, yeah, I you know I know like the edge screen is gonna really ruin like the the poppiness of the screen, but honestly, I think it's just like I think it's better to get the edge. Like OLEDs are so freaking reflective. Like, it's just so, they're so bad. Like, if you're in any type of lit room, or not even just OLEDs, they're, uh, you know, the nano LED or the quantum LED TVs, though, all of those have, are super glary. Oh, English. I have no idea which one is my, um, it's my password for my steam can I can 
continue. Is that a hair already? The screen is considerably larger, and if you ask me, like, just looking at it. Let's turn this bad boy on. What do we have on here? Oh, it's installing. So here's a fun thing. So I was playing with um, my RX. I was playing, trying to play Apex Legends with the with the graphics card, and I, it it was uh, atrocious. I mean, it, the the artifacting was insane. I thought the graphics card was broken because the art, artifacting was so bad with the with with the, the external GPU. I, I don't know what was going on. Maybe it's because it is an eight year old graphics card, the RX five eighty, but it was terrible. It was it was terrible. Um, what game should we test out? What game is the least amount of space? That's the question because. We gotta download stuff. Um, none, of, none of these games. Let's uh, let's do Brotato because Brotato is. Um, let's just see how you know, how much it, how much better it looks with like ninety hertz. Can we do Brotato with ninety hertz? I don't even know. But, you know what? I miss the feeling of a nice um, smooth hand handle though because I've been rocking these. Um, 3D printed back plates for a while now, and I'm used to this, uh, this coarseness, this roughness to it, and I'm fine with it. Like it's great because the cooling capabilities is pretty amazing on these things. Um, might as well restart it. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, so it's like it's worth it. It's worth not having this nice smooth handles, but I will say, these back buttons, I hate it. I like these pop-outs. It's easier to grip, easier to hold. Look at this, thermal pad just came out. <laughs> those thermal pads are for the, um, probably, how did those come out? Were they? They were probably from the VRMs. I don't need them anymore because um, we don't have the heat shield in here. Um, the heat shield's over here. Um, and you can see those uh, uh, shims I put in there which actually helps quite a bit for cooling. Um, so that's why the external fan is so important in, in this system, particularly because uh, because we don't have the, the heat shield anymore. All right, let's just turn that off for now. I should put this knife away before I cut myself. But yeah, overall, it's pretty much the same thing, yo. Know? We got this cool red button. Um, I kind of wish I had the um, premium edition, the limited edition. They said I could return it, um, but then I got to pay shipping. I was like, uh, I'm good. Uh, you know, it's $20 more for that nice back plate. By the way, I also might just do a case swap in this one because I did get a white case. Um, I don't know if I feel comfortable taking out the OLED screen, though. I'm not going to lie. I probably don't want to do that. I don't if I, I don't mind breaking this screen because I can buy this screen for a um, hundred bucks uh, for the nice one, but I'll probably the cheaper one's like sixty bucks. But yeah, that's that's not that's a no for me, dog. Damn, I didn't realize we're gonna do these all these updates. Let's plug it in. So we got better battery life. Let's take a look at the stuff that we have um, available to us in this uh, new ver refresh version. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. God, so many updates. More 30 to 50% more battery life, faster. Steam Deck like OLED comes with a Wi-Fi 6E. But you need, see, here's the thing about that. It says it comes with Wi-Fi 6E. Funny thing is you need a Wi-Fi 6 router for it 
to do Wi-Fi 6E. Lighter, cooler, 30, 30 grams lighter than the LCD one. Oh, lighter than the LCD model. LCD LED. LCD. Why do I always get them mixed up? Better touch screen. Carrying case. So yeah. The OLED just install updates. Come on. Only reason why I got this thing was because of the OLED. 100% was because of the OLED. Only reason I got it. Is it worth it? We'll see. We'll find out. I, you know, we'll find out. Oh, yeah, the joysticks are all blacked out now, too. Look at that. You don't have the gray. It's all blacked out. Where's that blue? Why is it blue? We should probably plug in this other one, too. I'm going to go ahead and, and... Do I have... Um, don't yeah. don't but yeah this is the one terabyte version it's it, it was a hundred bucks more for the and then i didn't get it for that necessarily because i can 512 was great um it's this etched screen man the gloss is ridiculous on oleds they're, they're the gloss is it, it it's a mirror essentially it's a mirror um i kind of just want to open this why did i turn it on i should have just opened it up first that's exact. That's exactly what I wanted to do, but let's just see how how nice it looks, and then we'll go from there. You know, because honestly, even though I have uh, the RX five eighty um, set up and this nice um, OLED um, external monitor, um, I still is this a cloth for the screen i still 90 percent of the time play handheld like i uh, playing desktop is just not convenient enough for me i like to lounge on the couch and plus with the baby i while the baby's napping i can be right next to him and i don't have to bring the baby into this room um so it's just easier life's easier that way are we done are we updating but yeah it's a great refresh. Pretty much everything's the same. The buttons are different. I just noticed that everything is kind of grayed out rather than this um, very, very, very light gray. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh wait, my head's in the way, this way. Yeah, you see the buttons? They're grayer. Almost, almost can't see them in comparison. going on here OLED man do I have to move all my settings back over gosh darn it man maybe oh you know what would be a good idea um so this one this one could be the handheld one and this one could be the dock mode but like I said in the video if you watch that video about the docking your Steam Deck to uh, external graphics cards, there's really no point. You might as well just buy a cheaper computer, um, you know, old i7, like fourth, sixth generation, four, five, sixth generation, um, and it'll be better than a Steam Deck. It's gonna be better than a Steam Deck. And actually, what I'm actually end, gonna end up doing is actually turning that GPU and an older CPU that I have, I'm gonna make it into a steam machine. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn it into a steam machine. And what that is gonna do, it's gonna be hooked up to the network and it's gonna be able to live stream games to the Steam Deck with um, a bigger picture, or not bigger picture, what is it called? Steam Link. Um, and I think that's like, that's the that's the workaround. Like that's the workaround. Um, and I think that will that will work out great. I actually, don't need to do that. It's the only reason I don't use my main rig for that because my main rig takes a lot of power. And let me take this real quick. I gotta I gotta use my phone. Gotta use my phone fast.
All right, sorry about that. My uh, mic reset it. Um, so one thing I'm noticing out of the gate is this screen is brighter. The LCD screen is for sure brighter, and but obviously the L L the OLED is like definitely better contrast. Obviously better blacks. What are we going to play? Just play that. Let's just see how it looks. Uh, let's go look at... And this uh, LCD one is um, overclocked too. So let's go here and let's take a look at our performance overlays. Oops. Let's go... Three... All right, we are at 90 frames. Disable frame limit. All right, so this one's right now, it's 70 frames. Why, look, why is this different? If you look right here, this is, the overlays are different now. Weird. Okay, so we're at 92%, five hours. What does this one say? 22 minutes, 80%. Oh, that's charging, because it's charging. Let's unplug it. Overlays are different. That's so weird. I just updated this one, right? Nine hours, nine minutes. Okay, so here's a fun thing. Oh, it's, it's counting down. So we have 92% on this Steam Deck, so we have more on the LCD one, uh, about 12% more, and we have two hours less than the OLED. So out of the gate, you have a two hour increase. So it's about oh, like a 30% increase, right? 30%? Um, out the gate. Okay, so let's just press play. Um, random, random, let's go. Just, just watch it. We're just gonna watch what happens. How do you even shoot in this game? Well, I already died. I honestly... Let's go back to this menu screen. Honestly, you can just see the difference in, in the display. It is so much nicer on the OLED versus the LCD. So remember, LCD is up here, up top, the one with the red bl uh, blinking light, and the OLED's down here. Um, this one's at 90 frames in the screen, this one's at 70. Remember, we overclocked this one, uh, the, uh, the monitor on this one. Um, let's take a look at our power draw. It's CPU. Is about 10, 11, 10, 1, 82.4 gigahertz. Everything is pretty much the same. I did not do um, cryo utilities yet on the OLED Steam Deck, but yeah, crap. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go back home. Let's exit this. Let's let's look at a like a nicer game. What do I have downloaded here? What's on this? on this hard drive. Cyberpunk. I cannot wait to, no, that's gonna take way too long to download. What's a triple A game that, I should have downloaded some games. Um, what game would download, ooh, let's do Play It Up. No, that's the same as Brotato. Actually, okay, played up is actually not a bad um, one to do. Crap, I didn't have it installed. Shit. Okay, let's try to install it. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 kn I know it's slightly better, but it's not that much better. Like, honestly, like, it's not that much better. Okay, so... Let's just, let's take it for what it is. I don't want to waste your guys' time. Um, plus, I got to make some dinner in a little bit um, with with 
the screens and stuff like that. It, it's clearly, obviously, that OLED's going to be a better screen. Let's open this bad boy up. That's what I really want to do. Let's void this warranty. Actually, does it void the warranty if um, if we open it? Is that void? Does that void your warranty? This one power down. Did I just turn this one off? And then you guys can see the guts. Um, so I was, I'm just talking out loud. Um, I'm planning to still, I'm gonna get it done this week, I promise. I'm gonna release all the SD, STL files for all the mods I've created. Um, for the Mark 8 and Mark 7 um, backplate, it will be like a $4.99, $4.99 to download the STL, um, but I'll still be opening it available if you want me to uh, print it for you um, and have different options because right now the Mark 7 comes with the fan, comes with fan, heat sink, comes with, it comes with everything you need. I, I created it so it, it could be the simplest thing possible. I actually have a package that's supposed to go out, um, but it comes with um, uh, thermal paste, it comes with, um, a thermal pad, a, a good thermal pad too. It's not a cheap one. It's um, it's a, a pretty good quality one, good uh, price to performance one, and it comes with a fan and the heatsink for I believe thirty seven dollars. It's a screaming deal if you ask me, considering how much a um, just uh, just the backplate goes for. Um, but yeah, so this is the Mark Eight right here. Uh, I'll get it out. Pretty simple. Um, the reason why I am not, I don't feel comfortable selling this thing is this. Putting this M.2 in there, cramming all that fun stuff in there was not easy. And I do not want to put anyone through that. That was a pain uh, for me to do. And I'm kind of don't want to take it apart, to be honest. And they changed the bits. So now it is a hex bit. Bastards. So they changed the screw bit to a T, T screw. And I'm gonna guess it's a. Uh, I'm gonna go t eight. Too big. Guess again. Let's go six. Oh, six is too big. What am I talking about? What is this? This thing is gonna strip like crazy. Four. Is it a four? Damn, is it smaller than a four? No way. It's either a four or a three. But we'll see. That's spinning. Man, so they, these bastards, these mother, they really did that. And people are going to strip these, man, trying to get the proper hex bit. Dang. Is it a six? Looks. It's six is too big. Why is this not working? So one thing I'm kind of seeing on this screw is it's obviously a T uh, star bit, but I think it's concave on the inside, so it's not very shallow. Um, I mean, it's very shallow in depth, so that would just mean it having a flat bit, you're not going to get as much bite out of it. And I think they may have done that. Why do they keep trying to stop me from opening this thing? Um, it's got to be this one. You know, I was looking at um, iFixit kits today on a, they had a Black Friday, but I'm like, I don't need it. I already, I bought this kit for like, $15, I think it was, on uh, Amazon, like, years ago, and it works great. All right, I think I found the right one. It's a 6H. There we go. She's Luis. All right. Where's my tray? At least I won't mix up the screws. 
sure you can uh, screw swap. Should we cut a hole in this one? Actually, um, I don't think we'll need to cut a hole because I'm pretty sure the other back plates. Oh, cool. Oh wait, check this out. These screws are the same height, right? The screws are the same height now. Interesting. Usually the ones out here are have um ha have longer screws, so that would mean that this back plate's not interchangeable with the original one. You can't put this back plate on the OLED to the LCD one because that screw depth is completely different. Huh, interesting. God, I hate opening these things up. Where is my guitar pick? First thing Poppy does is void his warranty on a Steam Deck. Let's go. So hungry. What are you guys having for dinner tonight? I'm gonna make spaghetti. I freak, I was gonna order a pizza, but then I was like, I have everything to make spaghetti. And I love spaghetti. I don't know about you guys, I freaking love spaghetti. So your boy is gonna make some spaghetti. Plus you save a lot of money just making the food at home. I honestly, actually, I think I might have a coupon at uh, Round Table. Actually, no, this is the spot you start off in. I remember. Oh, oh that doesn't feel good. Come on. Ah, these clips. Let's try. Let's try here. Sometimes you find like a spot that has a little bit more give. God, the seal on this thing is ridiculous. There we go. Ugh. Ugh. It's terrifying. Ugh. I just turned it on. Fuck. Do that every time. Okay, let's try not to short this thing day one. No, there's no SSD in there. Okay, come on. Come on. I just turned it on though. It's on. Backplate's pretty much the same. I think just the screw depth on this is different. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. So you should be, can you swap the JSOX backplate with this? What time is it? 4.42. Um, just trying to get done by five. Oh, wow. So this is huge difference right here. Complete difference. So this thing is inset and we got these screw holes right there. We got this huge ribbon cable too that connects both sides, but then they put it on top. That was stupid. So So basically you're if you're taking this heat shield off, you need to basically take off, I'm not gonna fully disassemble it, we're just taking a look at the guts. Um, you're basically gonna have to fully disassemble that. And I think this this fan is a slightly bigger fan. Um, is this a 50? Yeah, this is a 50 mil fan. So it's funny, funny that they did that because I actually just bought these exact same fans. Well, not the exact same, these are way cheaper. Um, and they're a lot bigger, these ones. But I bought this for a little project. 
Um, these are 50, 50 millimeter fans, and it's pretty much the same thing uh, as that, except there's a lot more fan blades here. Those extra fan blades are going to push a lot more air, but then these fan blades make a lot more noise compared to the larger ones. This is pretty cool. This battery pack is, I can tell that this battery pack is of a hell of a lot heavy, uh, bigger. So let's go ahead and let's just open up the other one, even though I don't want to open this thing up. I really don't want to open this thing up. Do I have an SSD in there? I don't have an SSD in there, good. I've already broken an SSD. I don't know if I told you guys that. I already did. Oh, there's no screw there. Oh yeah, cool. You got so excited and didn't even put a screw in there. Okay, come on. Come on, Clutus. This thing is a pain. This thing is actually just loose in there too. That's another reason why I can't sell this thing. I was like, man, this thing is like super jank putting it together. But it works, it works, it works great. It, it works great, I just used it today. I'm uploading a video of the difference between uh, LCD screen or LED screen and um, a 1080, uh, the OLED screen, like a side-by-side -side comparison. You start behind, see, I usually start behind the triggers, but it, that, it didn't work well for me today. It just didn't work well. Ugh. See, oh, there we go. Where's my screws? All right. So that's the inside of this back plate. Ugh, look at this. See, this, see how jank this is? This was literally just hanging out there. There was, it's nothing but compression fit holding this thing together, which is fine. Uh, and I, I had it in there for about two weeks and had no issues. Uh, works great. This thing's about $17 um, on Amazon, this exact one I bought. So if you were to mimic it, you could do the exact same thing. Set. I think what people should do is move over to the OcuLink. I've lost every single screw in this thing. And then go from there. The OcuLink will uh, be a better, will give you better results. Eesh. Oh, my alarm's going. My baby's crying. My baby's crying. See, okay, so that's the thing right here. This ribbon goes underneath the SOC and now it goes over the top. Um, here's my old heat sink right here so you guys can kind of see what's going on. I have a heat sink on there. So all the Mark 7 back plates come with a black version of this and you basically, the, guys, this thing is actually just stuck on there. Oh my God. It's with a thermal thermal paste and it works amazing and never comes off and runs super cool but look at this fan size difference and man this fan is dirty on here this thing needs a cleaning um oh no that's all i can really see that's a huge difference all the huge difference um i you can see here i ruined my audio cable and i think it's the same audio cable on this one too as well I really want to open this thing. Damn, this ribbon cable. I never like these things. I think you gotta flip them up. I don't want to get too into it on camera, because then I'll just you'll you'll just be watching me be quiet, fidgeting at things for a while. But yeah. This is the inside of the new OLED. Um, overall, first impressions of this bad boy. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Th is it like super cool to the point like you should sell your your um, LCD version and buy this one? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think so. Man, you can really feel the weight difference here. I actually have a weight scale. Be right back. All right, they said it was 30 grams online. So let's see 
Let me uh, put this microfiber on top. And let it zero out. All right, so you guys see, you guys can't see on camera. All right, so. All right, we're zeroed out. We are at 533 grams. You still can't see on camera. 534. Remember, we don't have the back plate on. Um, and 534 versus 597. And remember, we have this heat sink there. So yeah, it's about 30, it's 60 grams? 60 grams? Oh, 544. What, did, I, did I say 34 or 44? So it's over 40 grams. I don't know what they were talking about online, but this, remember, we don't have the back plate on. So that's, um, yeah, because this is almost 600 grams. Why is, why is this considerably... Wait, no, sorry, zero. 592, all right, 533. What am I missing here? What am I missing here? They said it was 30 grams. This is more than 30 grams. This is essentially 60 grams. I, don't tell me this thing is that heavy. I'm just gonna take this part off and put this back on. Okay, so we're closer now. That thing was pretty heavy, huh? 560. Okay, so we are about right, right, right around that 30 grams like they, they claim. All right, cool. So that's it. That's that. Man, it's going to be fun. So one thing I'm, I'm already seeing on here is I am, I'm probably not going to add an SSD to this thing. We're just going to try to keep it running cooler. Um... Thankfully, thankfully, um, we have this big portion right here. We can just put our heat sink right there. Not, a, not even a problem. Look at that. So when we cool this thing off, we're just gonna re re relocate this heat sink. So here's a fun thing I just realized about this thing. Um, so right here is your heat pipe. So this is things that's pulling um, heat from the APU and into the fan. Look how they're basically touching. So, okay, so in my original mod, we did the thermal pad mod, right? So on the Steam Deck, I added an extra thermal pad on the heat pipe to allow more heat um, to transfer over to the heat shield. That's why we have this connection point. Uh, on here, they're directly touching. So what I would do on this one, it's pretty cool. What you could do, because like before here, if you take this thermal pad out, there's an air gap between the heat shield and this uh, copper copper um, um, tube. Oh, what is this? What is this? I don't even know what it's called. Um, there's a there's an air gap in there. That's why we I went ahead and put this thermal pad here. So over here, there's an almost it's almost no touching. Um, there is a gap between them. There's no way it's a perfect fit. But what you could do easily is just go put some thermal paste on there. Put thermal paste right here, and that's the new thermal pad mod for the Refresh Steam Deck. Oh, that's definitely what I'm gonna do, but now we gotta do some testing now. God, I hate doing the test. This takes so long to do the testing, but I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. I'll do it for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's all we have to do. That's pretty cool. So we'll do that. We'll add that to there. We'll take our uh, 40 by 40 by 10 heat sink, Plop that bad boy on right there, and then throw a fan on there. And Bob's your uncle. There we go. We should we should drop temps by at least 12, 12. See, here's the thing. We 
it might not drop it by 12 because this thing runs cooler already. Man, we need to overclock these things again. I hate Valve for taking that away. Whether they was on, I'm pretty sure they did it on purpose because I'm pretty sure they put these odd uh, T screws on purpose so people are less likely to open them up. I see. That actually, no, that doesn't make any sense because why would you sell spare parts and be a big fan of right to repair if you? I don't know. I I need to talk to someone involved. But all in all, I'm pretty excited to mess with this thing. Um, I kind of wish I got the other version, but I actually got a new plate that came in. Someone sent it to me, uh, extra gear or extreme gear. Um, I think we'll do a case swap on this one. So we'll case swap this one and then um, we'll uh, modify this one to run uh, cooler. And once we can get the overclocking, then, then we'll be really cooking. Can't wait to open this thing up and get a hands-on view of everything. I'm just trying to look at something that re they're really different. I don't really see too much difference here. It's pretty much the same chassis, huh? Look, if you just look at this outcrop right here for this battery... So the main difference is there's like about a two millimeter gap between the battery and the top of this um, plastic housing. Here it's com almost completely flush. So that's the extra uh, width on the battery. That's why you have stronger, better batteries. Dang. This is very interesting. Maybe we'll do more to this Steam Deck. Maybe we'll just, just we'll change everything. Maybe we'll add a bigger fan on here. No, we can add a bigger fan on there. That's not going to work. There's no way we're going to be able to fit this bad boy in there. This is a thicken. If this, maybe, can we chop this thing down a little bit? There's a little bit of a gap in there. That's a thick fan. We could print a new fan. See, this is the problem. This is why I don't do I'm just here talking to myself. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this show. Not even about playing with it. I just, I want to mess with it. And one thing I will say, and I'll end the stream, is this freaking cable bullshit that they went up and over the SOC versus going up and under it, uh, that's very annoying in my opinion. That's very annoying and it feels kind of lazy, you know? It feels lazy to me. Like, but I'm sure there's probably a decent reason why they did it that way. The SOC itself is different now. I really want to take this thing apart, man. But I don't want to do it on stream. It's just going to take so long. But yeah, there you go, guys. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Oh, thanks, dude. I really appreciate that. Uh, Hardy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to tinker with it quite a bit. Honestly, there's really not too much that we could do with it. All all, I, all we can really do is just see how much better it is. Like, we're going to test some games. We're going to test about, like, Miles Morales is going to be a great one to test. Um, um, I don't really see the point of attaching it to a graphics card, but we'll definitely attach it to a graphics card um, just to see. Um, I know that's probably going to be next to no difference whatsoever. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we'll modify the back plate to fit that. I wonder if this will fit. It should fit, no problem. See, I'm, I was supposed to get off soon, and I'm already messing around doing other things. Story of my life. Do I have another back plate down here? Oh, I do. Okay, which one is this one? Oh, so this is the Mark 7 back plate. Ooh. Yeah, it fits no problem. Do I have another part? Oh yeah, so this is the Mark 7 backplate. Yeah, that fits no problem. That's not even an issue. Okay, so I'm looking right here. We don't really need to do too much changes on here. Um, it just looks like this part is the only thing kind of interfering with us. So we just need to move this thing down five millimeters. So. It's so simple because I'm not a really good at modeling 3D printers, but I'm very good at just just ma making things work. Uh, so all I, I, I 
my SDL files are two separate things. So I created this thing and basically I just stuck it on top of the original SDL or the original backplate in uh, the computer and then just cut a hole out. And that's how this thing was made. I don't know what happened here. That's a uh, printing error. Um, but all I got to do is kick this thing out. And it looks like all the screw holes are pretty much the same. So all I have to do is shift this thing downward um, five millimeters. Uh, what we're going to have to end up doing, though, is we're going to have to lose that five mils on this end because we will never get that screw in. Or we could just build a cubby, a little slot. Yeah, we could just do that. We should move it down, build a tunnel for the screw. Wow, that's going to be great. This thing is offset again. Why is this fan not dead center? That drives me insane. It... It's never dead center. 145. Look at that. It's off by seven millimeters. I don't know why that fucking drives me through the wall. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the fact that this fan's always off center drives me crazy. Drives me insane. I don't know why. Oh. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, I believe the NV, NVMe is going this way. I could it doesn't really matter because what I want to do is use the Oculink. So I'm going to order an Oculink versus that one because the Oculink, we have a huge bump out here, y'all. You see how big this cutout is in here? This thing is enormous. Um, we could we have plenty of room for Oculink, and then we can even bump it out. So I think right now, I think we're at 20 mils. I just lost the thing again. I just literally oh there it is. I need to paint this thing white so I don't lose it. So it's 20 mils. Um, yeah, we can kick this thing up and to 20 mils. We'll have enough room for Oculink and everything that we need to go inside here. So we can we can put external SSD. But like, if you watch the last video, guys, and please watch it, I really don't see a real purpose to attaching a graphics card to your Steam Deck. It really is not that great unless you do not have uh, another desktop or, you know what I mean? Like, if if that's all you have and that's all you want to have, then go for it by all means. But it's you can buy, computer, especially after Christmas or after now, I'm, I'm going to, you can buy computer part, used parts very, very cheap. Very, very, I can build, I built a p whole PC for under a, a 180 and it, it, it plays 1080p, 120 hertz, um, and 2k at like 30 to 60 hertz. Like for 180 bucks, you can build something like that. And if you, you know, if you have a little bit more money to burn too, 300 bucks, you could do 2k 90 to 120 hertz, you know, depending on the graphics card you're able to find. Um, you'll need a, um. You probably could pick up a 36. No, 3060s can't do 2K. 3060 TIs can get are like the base for a 2K gaming rig. But yeah, I, I don't know one. Which one? How much was the gain from the RX 580? So I, okay, so I didn't do a one uh, a comparison between. I should have done that. Now that I think about it, um, adding a graphics card. Um, shit, I should have done that. I didn't do that. Um, but I will tell you what, um, you can't play 1080p, you, uh, any game really off of 1080p on a Steam Deck. It really looks like trash. Like when you upscale it, um, to 1080p, like, uh, any AAA game. Like if you're playing Brotato, you can, you could do that all day or, 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 you know, those less demanding or uh, side scroller games, or what do you call those? Those Metrovania games. You could definitely play those, um, uh, ten, probably 2k, 4k, but like you're not playing Starfield, uh, or Cyberpunk 1080p just off of Steam Deck, just dock. Um, you're jumping it, you're dropping it down to 720p, but what, what are the gains? Crap, I do not know off the top of my head what the gains are, but I will tell you right now it's more it's probably more than double. It's probably more than double. Um and yeah, Hardy, you're 100% right. I can't believe I didn't do that. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't do that. 
Oh man, that's so stupid. But yeah, I guess that's what I'm gonna do on the next one. I gotta I gotta do a comparison after we uh tinker. Damn, I wanted to mess with this OLED. Now you got me going back to the old stuff. I'm I'm, I'm down with the new I'm trying to fuck with the new stuff. Uh but I guess we gotta do that. How much better is it? Um, we'll just use, we'll do an easy one. We'll do a cyberpunk one because cyberpunk is super easy because they have a built in and um, we'll film that. And later today, I'm uploading a video between the LCD and the uh, LED uh, screen versus uh, OLED screen. And um, it's a very short video. It kind of shows you a big side by side comparison about the why, you know, why it's better to go OLED, especially if you're going to tie it together to, with something like a Steam Deck. Um, just because you're not going to have the best picture quality, uh, when it comes to resolution, but because you have a better screen, it's just going to look better. Like a better screen is just going to make it look better. And that's the difference between like an LCD LED versus like an OLED, a quantum dot or a nano LED. So nano LED and quantum dot LED, they're pretty much the same thing. One's Samsung, one's LG and the OLED is actually LG's thing. Um, but I love the OLED. I think OLED's. OLED's OLED's the future for TV. If you if you're buying a new TV or a monitor and you're in and you should get OLED. Like don't don't waste your time. Spend the extra money um because it's worth it. It is. And then I okay, and one more thing before that. My main desktop monitor is a 48-inch OLED TV. Um and I I've gamed on it a lot. I've done a lot of work on it and it um F F H F H R. Oh yeah, like yeah, for sure. That's gonna look dope. Um, I've never had any burn in issues whatsoever. Never had any burn issue in issues. Some someone asked me to see if they can do the burn in on this OLED. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Someone else is probably gonna do that. Someone that probably got theirs for free is gonna do that because I had to pay for mine. And uh, I don't know if y'all know. I just got a new baby. I shouldn't be spending all this money on it, but I couldn't help myself, bro. You know, sometimes, you know, quality of life, man. This shit's gonna bring me a lot more joy. Um, and I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going out anymore. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just that's how I justify this shit. I'm not going out. I'm not going party no more. I'm staying here with the baby, play with this new OLED, make some videos for y'all. But other than that, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, stay tuned, man. We're gonna, we're gonna make, we're gonna test this thing. We're gonna make it run cooler. Uh, hopefully some, they come out with, a with, with, um, some type of way that we can reintroduce smokeless so we can increase the TDP because the cool thing about here, this is runs on, on a six nanometer and the other one was a seven nanometer, meaning that you can, um, you, you can, we can really push it because we can dump a lot more heat into the system. But other than that, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully we'll do another live stream. If you guys liked it so much, we'll do some more tinkering live streams. But 